Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick minute and explain to you how prorating works within the retirement budget calculator. And this is especially important for that first year of income, expenses, and asset growth. So when you first create a model in the retirement budget calculator, it's going to assume a full year's worth of data. So January 1st to December 31st of the current year. Let me show you what this looks like. So you can see here we are, we've got a brand new model created. If we look at assets and liabilities, there have been no snapshots created. And you can see they have $120,000 of income, they have $96,000 of expenses, and their surplus or shortfall for the entire year, in this case, a surplus of $13,940 is for the entire year. So this is great if we're working from January 1st through December 31st, but the reality is a lot of times when you're updating your plan, you might update it mid-year. And so we wanna be able to account for where the accounts are today, what kind of growth are they gonna have to the end of the year, so when you want to prorate, the way that you do that is by creating snapshots. Let me show you how this works. So from the assets and liabilities page, you can create a snapshot here, or you can create a snapshot down here. The idea with a snapshot is you're creating a moment in time of what the current account balances are. But when you create a snapshot, it's also gonna use that date for determining the prorating going forward. So you can see I created a snapshot as of July 1st, 2024. So now if we come down to the retirement optimizer, you can see they have expenses of $96,000 total for the year. $48,000 of expenses are remaining. They have income of $60,000 for the year total, but there's $30,000 of income remaining to be paid. And then their shortfall for the year is $23,704 with an estimated $23,704 remaining. And then there's this one more feature here that I wanted to show you, which is the unaccounted expenses. Unaccounted expenses reflect the fact that they've had a shortfall of $3,000 a month every month for the last six months. So these uh, $18,000 of withdrawals, portfolio withdrawals, had to come from somewhere. The calculator at this point doesn't know where those withdrawals came from. In this case, these folks only have one asset. They have an IRA or a 401k. So in this case, we would come up here to year-to-date withdrawals and put $18,000 in and save it. Now you only have to do this with qualified accounts and the reason is because we want to be able to reflect that $18,000 of distributions in the IRA distributions and unless we know which account that those monies have been pulled from we wouldn't know that. If it's coming out of a savings account or a brokerage account we don't count that as a taxable income anyway so you don't have to worry about doing the year-to-date withdrawals. But if you come back over here you'll notice now that the um, unaccounted for expenses no longer exist and it just shows the total expenses. So the amount that's been distributed was the $18,000, $26,000 remaining with $44,000 of total estimated shortfall that they're going to have to pull out of the 401k this year. Another thing that you'll notice is um, we're assuming in this model that they earn 4% per year. But because we have the date set to July 1st, there's only six months remaining of growth. So instead of earning a 4% growth rate, they're only going to have 2.01% remaining for the rest of the year. The reason that we made these prorating changes is because we want that first year to be as accurate as possible. So that as you're updating your plan, the current year is always reflecting the most recent and the most accurate information regarding taxes, growth rates, income and expenses and that it's doing it on a prorated basis to look at how much of the year has already gone by and what has happened in the past that needs to be accounted for. Thanks so much. I hope you found this helpful.